Welcome to NC Spin Perspectives, opinions from fault leaders across our state. We're delighted to be able to get perspectives from Superintendent of Public Instruction, June Atkinson. June, I don't know what it feels like being in the center of a hurricane 365 days a year, but it seems like there's always a storm brewing around public education in North Carolina. Let's talk about some of the things that have recently taken place in the news. One of them, of course, the big brouhaha over teacher pay. In the short session of the, the legislature, uh, they gave what they said to teachers was an average of 7% pay increase. NCAE says that's not the case at all. What's your response to this teacher pay raise? Well, all of our teachers in our state are getting raises. There is a clause in the budget saying that they will hold harmless anyone who would not get uh, a, an increase in salary. So it is an average and that average would vary uh, whether you have one year of experience or 33 or 35 years of experience. But one of the things that I found interesting about it is that the biggest raises seem to come in the early years of a teacher's uh, career and in the latter years the raises were not so great. What was the rationale for this? Well, we see that uh, many of our teachers leave in the first six years of teaching, and I believe that the General Assembly wanted to give incentives to teachers to stay in the classroom. Uh, however, with uh, giving smaller raises for teachers with greater experience, we do stand the chance of losing some of our most experienced teachers in our state. And, and just common sense says that the more experience they have, certainly the better they should be. The, one of the things that NCAE was so upset about was that they reduced the number of steps in the, in the teacher ladder of pay scale uh, down to six, and in so doing, eliminated some of the uh, steps for longevity pay. What, right. what was the rationale there? Well, I don't know the rationale, but I know for a long time there has been a push to reduce the number of steps. Uh, for teachers to reach the highest payment of salary. Uh, I do believe that we do need to reduce the number of steps. Perhaps six was not the right number. The, the other uh, big controversy with the Senate particularly uh, dealt with teacher assistance. Uh, at the end of the day, they ended up by, as they said, keep, keeping the teacher assistance. The Senate maintains that the, there's some documented evidence to say that TAs are very important, particularly in the first grade, maybe not so much in the second and third grade. Uh, you, you deal with this 52 weeks a year. What's your response on that? Well, it's important to recognize that in this day and time when we have children in the classroom who have medical needs, when we have children in the classroom who may need extra help and assistance because of special needs, that teachers do need support, especially in kindergarten, first, second, and third grade. And uh, one would just have to go to a second grade class or a third grade class and recognize that if you do not have a teacher assistant, then it's very, very difficult for the teacher to be able to leave the classroom for any purpose, such as going to the restroom. So the teacher assistants really serve more than one purpose. They are an extension of the teacher, and they also allow the teacher to have some flexibility when it comes to uh, needs that we all have as adults. We've heard NCAE's position. We've heard the legislature's response position. Uh, you're out there in the field. You're dealing with these edu educators every day. What's the rank and file reaction to teachers to this new pay system? It's very mixed. Of course, school has not started, but uh, I am hearing from experienced teachers to say, are we not valued as much? Uh, is this a way to make us leave uh, the classroom? Uh, I hear other teachers being confused about the teacher salary schedule. It is extremely complicated, and so it will take a while for teachers across the state to understand where they are on the scale and what impact it will have on their salaries. So in general, how would you gauge their response? I would say from a scale of one to 10, I would gauge at least a six of being discontent with what has happened with the salary schedule. Uh, they are grateful that the General Assembly recognized that teachers need raises in order for them to stay in the classroom. They are grateful for that. 
and our teachers for the most part are people who who are grateful and appreciate what can be done to the, uh, for them to keep them in the classroom. But there is much discontent across the state with our teaching faculty. Thank you for being with us, June Atkinson. Thank you for watching NC SPIN Perspective or videos all during the week on ncspin.com.